The dead bug exercise starts by laying on your back with your feet on the ground so that you can firmly plant your lumbar spine, the lower segments of your spine, and your rib cage completely flat on the floor. Try to keep this imprinted position throughout the exercise no matter the variation that you choose. While keeping that spine flat, go ahead and lift one leg off the ground and then the other leg and make sure that your spine has not come away from the floor at all. While keeping your knees at about 90 degree angle, the first option would be to just move one leg toward the floor and then back without setting the foot down to challenge your torso muscles to keep your spine flat while the leg moves. For variation two, you include the arms by reaching up to the ceiling and still only moving the legs. In this setup, your arms are not supporting you on the floor any further, and so this might feel a bit harder. The final variation includes moving your opposite arm and leg at the same time. This might feel a bit uncoordinated at first, which will present itself by the non-moving arm and leg trying to get in on the action. So take some time, spend some energy to keep the non-moving parts of your body stiff and still and only move the intended arm and leg with control. Keep breathing and especially focus on a strong exhale to get even more contraction out of those torso muscles.